Okay, level starts. Uh, you're here in Imidon. You play the character of Sunir. Uh, as you can see, well, you should be able to see there's a volumetric fog been placed within the level. Uh, you currently you start up in the south sec, well, south quarter, which is a housing district. You're looking at the park, a couple of dead trees and rocks. Uh, down there is just more houses. Uh, you can see washing lines and stuff hanging from, you know, the windows and stuff to signify, you know, general people clutter. I look up the sky now so that uh, there's meant to be light shafts, like god rays, but they're not working. Uh, as you can see there, the shadows didn't work, <coughs> didn't work properly on that. Uh, it's for some reason, adding uh, static mesh as an interp actor uh, caused the shadows to go a bit weird. But, oh well. I'll start heading down here towards the west sector. <coughs> Another portcullis. Again, collision. You can see the inner sanctum. Heading into the west sector, you can see stocks. There's a, a church. Well, firstly, the tavern. Uh, church. Uh, stables. Uh, some neatly arranged crates. Heading down here. More such stuff, uh, a store. I was going to head through uh, the inside ring, but uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll just show you the outside, and then that way you can see the, the trigger set up on the portcullises in the north sector. Here's the city gates. Each of the city exits have one of these. Uh, there's the fountain. In the distance, you should be able to see the city gate open. Well, the portcullis even open. Uh, that's just a trigger set up on the north sector. More buildings, another tavern. <coughs> uh, blacksmith. See the anvil and, you know, other such stuff. Fountain with water. Water volume. Uh, at this point, a cutscene would play, which uh, in the book is when uh, Sunia and the, the crowds of people, uh, Sunia throws a rock towards one of the magicians uh, with a shield and it proceeds to go through, causing chaos to ensue. At which point, uh, all the crowd flees and uh, some guards and other magicians start running after Sunia and you, you're expected to escape. So uh, the escape sequence, you know, that cutscene plays out. The character would, for example, would run down here uh, as approaching an alleyway. You'd see a guard down the other end. Obviously it's made clear to the player that they're meant to avoid them. Uh, as they come up to a corner, they would hear an NPC go to them this way, you know. Down here, you know, typical video game sort of noises for getting the player's attention. Uh, another one, you know, quick this way. Yeah, this is all in the effort of reaching the tavern to uh, hide out for the, till the next day. You reach the tavern, uh, players presented with a choice of, you can either stay at the tavern now that the guards have given up chase, or you can wander around for a short amount of time, you know. That's just for the purpose of the player to be able to go and look at the inner sanctum at this point. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, as you notice, all the port cornices are open now. And you can see the elder houses uh, dotted around the outside, the richer folk. Uh, guard houses as well, just on the right there. And in the centre, of course, the royal tower, which is obviously where king's royalty and such all reside. And... Uh, while it's not featured in this level, here's the Magician's Quarter, sectioned off. And uh, that's it for level and asset design. So, uh, yeah. The whole level is static meshes. And uh, I think the only brushes I used was uh, the vo water volume and uh, something else. Oh, yeah, of course, the uh, light box. Well, the um, light volume. Sadly, the textures were didn't obviously didn't come out as I wanted. I think the level would have looked a hundred times better with uh, proper textures, but because of the way that I made 
the UV maps for all the static meshes. Uh, I made the actual UVs on the map too small. So what's happened is obviously the textures at this scale are so stretched out that they're barely recognisable. Luckily, the you know the general colours come through and you know you can tell what they're meant to be. But uh, if I was to actually like reapproach this, I'd certainly uh, rethink the way that I made my maps. But yeah, job done. And uh, thank you for watching.